know that small businesses contribute more than 40% of Malaysian GDP. Therefore, are these small businesses also required effective management? Hi, my name is Uzairi and welcome to Small Business Management. Throughout this course, you will be exposed to basic concepts and knowledge in managing a micro and small business activities. In this course, I will be your instructor together with my other four colleagues. Hello, I'm Aisha. Hi, I'm Azureti. Hi, I'm Fadila. Hi, I am Naim. Did you know that small business or SMEs represent more than 65% of total business establishment in the country. In fact, they are also employing more than 60% of working population in Malaysia. Despite the year size, SMEs play a significant role in the development of Malaysian economy. A lot of companies started as a small businesses and grew become a multinational corporations. Some of you too, I believe, want to have your own business. Therefore, it is very important for you to learn and acquire skills in managing and running the business. By the end of this course, students will be able to achieve three learning outcomes. First, students will be able to discuss basic concepts of micro and small business and its activities. Second, students will be able to explain key components in marketing, human resources, operation and finance in macro and small business. Ultimately, students will be able to develop a business plan for micro and small business management. Thank you. In this course, we will cover six learning units. They are... Unit 1, Introduction to Small Business. Unit 2, Developing Marketing Strategy. Unit 3, Human Resource in Small Business. Unit 4, Operation Management in Small Business. Unit 5, Financial Planning for Small Business. And finally, Unit 6, Writing a Business Plan. You will learn all these unit units through our interactive videos and online activities. So, are you excited to know more about Small Business Management? Come and join us.